I'm going to blow your mind. So the liberal government gave away $2 billion to a small company called Telesat for satellite production. Now this is where it gets interesting. Do you remember this announcement where the liberals announced that they're going to have this guy, Mark Carney, join to be their economic savior? Yeah, that's him. He's the former Bank of Canada governor. Now watch this. As the chair leader of a task force to lead on economic growth in Canada, that same chair, Mark Carney, well, he's really, really good friends with the president and CEO of that same company that received $2 billion. Don't take it from me. They have a history. Goldberg, the CEO of Telesat, was in the British capital because Mark Carney at the time was also the chief at the Bank of England. And it specifically states that he went to visit his good friend Mark Carney, governor of the Bank of England. Now, I don't believe in coincidences, but this is the current market cap of the company, the $600 million. And guess what? Over the last five years, their stock has been down nearly 70%. But guess what happened when they received the grant? Look how much the stock has gone up in the last month alone. This is where things get a lot more interesting. Their recent quarterly financials. Their revenue is down 15%. Their net income, how much money they take home at the end of the day, that's down nearly 75%. This is how many satellites they have. 198 in total. This is how many Starlink has. They literally have more than 6,000 satellites, more than Telesat. And here's the craziest part. There are 16 million Canadian households and approximately 1 million are without internet. A Starlink kit costs around $450. Bulk orders reduce it down to $350. So that's $385 million to enable high-speed internet to every household that needs it in Canada. That's to say the government can save nearly $2 billion fixing the problems they have, but instead the liberals gave it to a wealthy friend. When someone full-blown asked Elon Musk, they said, hey, how much would it cost to provide Starlink to every household that doesn't have high speed? He tweeted out and literally said less than half of that amount. So is there something suspicious going on here? Something that, I don't know, maybe the RCMP should look into? Because to have that funding come so close after the announcement of Mark Carney makes you wonder. And on that note, I wonder how many politicians own that stock now.